Hello, it is I, Vadim. One of my least favorite things to do when building a PC is cable management. Routing and plugging in all those cables is a tedious task. But there is a good chance that the industry is shifting towards a more user-friendly way of managing cables inside a PC case. Asus has showcased its prototype motherboard and graphics card that feature a cable-less power connector capable of delivering up to 600 watts of power to the graphics card directly from the motherboard. I think this is a very cool concept that has the potential to eliminate the standard power cables that are nothing but an eyesore, and sometimes even a fire hazard, as is the case with the new 16-pin power connector featured on Nvidia's RTX 40 series graphics cards. The High Power Card Edge Connector, or HPCE for short, proposed by Asus, is a much more reliable solution that has been used in the server industry for a very long time, so it is a tried and tested standard that works well. The idea is, you just plug in your graphics card into the motherboard as normal, and that is it. The GPU gets the power it needs from the motherboard. Of course, the power still has to be delivered from the power supply somehow. That is why Asus has moved all of the power connectors, SATA ports, as well as fan and RGB connectors to the back of the motherboard. This way you can conveniently connect all the necessary cables by opening the back panel of the PC case. No more messing around with those hard-to-reach connectors. Everything is laid out nicely. The best part is the view you'll get after you lock all those cables behind the back panel. You are left with a gorgeous cable-free interior when you peek inside the case. Additionally, fewer cables obstructing the airflow inside the case should help with better cooling every component from GPU and CPU to memory and SSDs. I think this is the future of PC building. Furthermore, in case future graphics cards will require more than 600 watts of power, the HPCE connector can be upgraded to a more powerful version. With a quick Google search, I managed to find this 3000 watt HPCE connector. So yeah, it looks like there is a lot of wiggle room when it comes to power-hungry GPUs. Here's a closer look at the Asus HPCE connector diagram if you are interested in more details. Just pause the video to inspect it closer. Other PC hardware manufacturers, including MSI and Gigabyte, are showing interest in moving cables to the back of the motherboard as well, but they haven't come on board with powering graphics cards with an HPCE connector just yet. However, there is nothing stopping them. MSI calls its initiative Project Zero. The MSI B650M Project Zero motherboard is actually available to buy right now. Obviously, it needs a special PC case with appropriate cutouts for the connectors on the back of the motherboard. That is a hurdle that the industry has to overcome for this new standard to catch on. All the existing cases will have to be redesigned. Gigabyte has Project Stealth, featuring Z690 motherboard paired with an RTX 3070 graphics card. Unfortunately, it is no longer available for purchase and there are no news on Gigabyte's next generation of Project Stealth PC parts featuring Nvidia's latest RTX 40 series graphics cards or any other GPUs from AMD or Intel for that matter. I am hoping that this cable revolution will get more traction over the next few years. If you like this new way of building PCs, then give this video a like and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Hopefully, these companies are keeping an eye on what the community wants and will respond accordingly. In the meantime, check out these two videos to see which monitor is the best for your needs or learn about the next generation of graphics cards expected to launch in the next year or so. Also, subscribe for more videos like this if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.